All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, back with uh, part two of uh, the nicotine video. So I was just saying that um, the nicotine in tobacco, as you age it, it can uh, be oxidized and become less potent uh, as far as the stimulation uh, feeling feels. However, there are still byproducts of the uh, degradation of the nicotine um, that can be harmful. Now, the good thing about, um, or the, the silver lining of the cloud, whatever you'd like to call it, in this situation, is that both the nicotine and the byproducts of the nicotine in tobacco uh, burn very easily. In fact, um, they, uh, a large majority, uh, I can't give you an exact percentage, but a large majority of the nicotine that is in the tobacco will burn off uh, before you even draw it in uh, to your mouth when you're puffing on a pipe. And that's why not inhaling uh, your pipe smoke makes a huge difference because nicotine is absorbed in the body uh, when it's uh, placed in a basic environment uh, or a, a more basic environment as far as acids and bases are concerned. Um, it needs to be ionized uh, into its cationic form, which only takes place in basic media. Now your mouth, your saliva's pH is normally about 7.4, or that would be blood's pH. Um, your saliva pH is similar to that, um, depending on what you've been recently eating. So, um, nicotine is not absorbed through the mouth as quickly as it is absorbed through the lungs. That's why people who uh, inhale smoke, whether it be mostly cigarette smokers, but I know other smokers can do that too. Um, the slider worked in between videos when you guys were watching. Um, that's why more nicotine can be absorbed in the body through the lungs. Thus, if you inhale the smoke, um, it can affect you greater that way. So it would be better for you, as far as the feeling the effects of nicotine, to not inhale the smoke. Which for most of us that enjoy the pipe, um, that's not a point of it anyway, it's just enjoy the taste and the smell of the pipe smoke. I think that's one of the nice benefits um, of smoking uh, a pipe in general is this idea of not inhaling. Um, you you lose a large amount of the, the nicotine. Vinny, a fresh and easy neighborhood market customer from Point Loma. Fresh and easy you get to enjoy puffing on a pipe tobacco, making a YouTube video you. while your you online radio station provides commercials for your listeners. So everybody enjoy this as I uh, puff away. I don't even have to think about comparing other places. Thanks, Fresh and Easy. Thanks, Vinny. Now everyone can say for Fourth of July barbecue. So, uh, a way to help uh, avoid this, uh, since your tobacco smoke um, is going to be slightly acidic, um, which assists in the dropping of nicotine uh, level that's actually ionized and put into your body. Um, over 65% uh, of the smoke, or sorry, nicotine that's in the tobacco is lost um, due to not being ionized due to the acidic level of the smoke when you puff on it. So by that, if you want to even great, even more greatly decrease the amount of nicotine that you're um, getting in uh, your smokes, I would suggest recently ingesting uh, something that's a little bit acidic uh, before, after, or I'm sorry, before or during smoking your pipe. Something like uh, fruit juice, specifically citric uh, juices, such as orange juice, 
uh, would be a perfect example of something to kind of coat the inside of your mouth with and swish it around uh, and enjoy a glass of that before a pipe. Drinking coffee, which is acidic, while you're uh, enjoying your pipe is also going to assist in lowering the nicotine level. Granted, at that time you're having some nicotine and caffeine uh, flowing into your body, so you're going to get the stimula uh, stimulation either way. However, the, the caffeine, I don't believe uh, studies have shown that it has quite the um, carcinogenic effect that the nicotine byproducts have. So to wrap up, um, yes, nicotine levels can uh, deg uh, decay or lower over the time of aging tobacco. That doesn't necessarily make it a healthier experience, but it can make it a milder experience as far as um, how you are affected by the stimulation of the, of the nicotine. And if you watched these videos and felt that I completely confused you, more than gave you any kind of actual useful information, I apologize. That was not the goal at all. Uh, hopefully you pulled something away from this. Hopefully it made sense. And if you need anything cleared up, uh, feel free to ask. As I continue to puff away on this uh, cigar blend, Virginia Spice, by PipesAndCigars.com. So anyway, uh, enjoy your uh, pipe, enjoy the tobacco. And know that there's constant chemical reactions happening in your pipe and in your mouth while you're puffing away. See you guys next time.